So we are Video Plaza. I'm Edwin and this is... This is Gary. So you are getting a look behind the curtain of Video Plaza. This will be our second video that we're doing. Uh, hopefully we'll do more in this format and have like a green screen and things like that. So remember to like and subscribe. Mostly the subscribe as well so you get to notifications and you must, must click the bell button as well, I believe. Yes, for, yeah. notifications, for notifications. If you want to be notified. So, Not notified. Notified. Yeah. Notified. So with that out of the way, uh, we are talking about the new trailer for Rambo. It's the fifth instalment in the franchise. Rambo Last Blood. Because the first one was called Rambo First Blood. Exactly. I, exactly. You, I, I like what they did there. I so that as well. <laughs> so it has been eleven years since the last Rambo film. It was two thousand and eight. Two thousand eight. Yeah. It was that point in time in which Sylvester Stallone was revisiting um, his more classic known work. So I think around that time he Rocky also did Rocky Balboa. He did Rocky Balboa, time, yeah. and then later on he did Rambo. So with this new which trailer, was John Rambo or just Rambo? It was just called just Rambo. I think. If I remember was. correctly, the working title was John Rambo, but it ended oh. up just being called Rambo. Okay, mm, fair I could be wrong. I don't think I am. It could be. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, with this new trailer, um, it's basically almost like a home invasion type scenario. Very Home Alone. Very home yeah, alone. very Home Alone esque. Um, Cameo by Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> I made that up. He did find the trailer. <laughs> What did you, as someone you've you've seen it more repetitively than I, I have, have. So I what did you make Rambo, of it? Rambo a lot growing up. I think it it has the the trail is very consistent. Mm. I'm not like really pumped like I was when I saw Rambo uh, mm. the trailer um, because it had been a very very long time before mm. Rambo. Um, was was announced and the trailer was released. Yeah. So I think this is a bit of a shorter time. And mm. considering the last time we saw Rambo, he was fighting alongside Al Qaeda. Yeah, I mean the the last so. Rambo three came out in eighty eight. Right. So, so, they, so it'd been there a was a huge. A, there, was, uh, there was a huge gap. Yeah, twenty year sort of gap since since that th one prior to it. So, plus, I guess as well is that when Rambo came out in two thousand eight. It was slightly more of a rarer commodity, these remakes and sequels and stuff like mm. that. They've now become the norm. Yeah, you've got Terminator, uh, Dark Fate. You've got the Halloween um, continuation from Halloween mm. 1, even, yeah. with Jamie Lee Curtis, which came out recently, which was really good. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not and, unheard of anymore yeah. for an old franchise to come back with some original cast members and yeah. continue the legacy. And, he, and even to a, a same kind of thing, but slightly different vein with the live action Disney films as well. It's mm. like taking a property that, in the case of, for example, Aladdin, that it's over 20 years old uh, and re. Uh, distributing it on, on the big yeah, screen yeah. sort of thing. Uh, something that struck me uh, a fair bit with the Rambo Last Blood trailer is mm. the cinematography seems to have taken a turn for the better in comparison to the last Rambo film. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I think that despite what the plot elements may or may not mm. be, I think that you can't argue that when the finished product does hit cinemas in it's September uh, they will yeah visually it'll look very good what I took from the story of the uh, of the teaser trailer it's not a very long trailer it's only about a minute and mm. 34 minutes a minute and 34 seconds sorry uh, is that he's retired to his parents farm which you see him walk back to at the end of the last Rambo film. To, uh, it's kind of oh, like right. his retire. I hadn't made yeah. that. Uh, that was him going to retire and, and, and give up, the, you know, hmm. hiding away uh, and, and come home. You know, John Rambo went home and yeah. that was supposed to be it. That was supposed to be the end of the story. In this, I don't know why, but I uh, they, they look a little bit more like a drug cartel than an army. Hmm. Um, so they seem to be... Probably something along the lines of uh, the drug cartel has, has taken control of his little hometown and he doesn't like it. Mm. Uh, so he's fighting against them and then he holds up in his farm for some little home alone fun and they come after him and, you know, some fighting ensues. Mm. Uh, there's a really good scene where he's in the middle 
of a group of, of the of the enemy. I assume the drug cartel of some sort, but we don't know yet. He's in the middle of them. It's on. I think it's on a rooftop. Okay. And he's in the middle of them, and there's a large group in a circle around him. Kind of like, come on then, come on, get some, and then they kind of run into yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's done from like an elevated camera angle, and it's mm, really, really well, well it's, done. It's Go kind on. of uh, showing how we've. I think we've talked about it once in our podcast, which is available mm. week. Uh, like I said, weekly um, is every that, Monday. Every Monday is that it's a case of the um, the old the old guard of action films mm. influencing the new type of action films and then in turn when the old guard come to do their own films uh, recent mm-hmm. output they're now replicating the films that originally were influenced them yeah. so in a sense the that scene that you referenced yeah with the, kind ca- of, the camera above, yeah with had the a, camera. Ha- kind of uh, was reminiscent a little bit of John Wick kind of mm, thing yeah. where you have one uh, my, and very similar because it was the 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 director of John Wick had a input was the choreo- stunt choreographer in the Matrix. Yeah. There was the the scene with all the Agent Smiths kind of thing when they're all kind of going after him as the one individual. So yeah, it was kind of like a similar um, tonally aspects mm. of this is a man not to be messed with like he's the ultimate um yeah they they are action fighting fighter, they're, they're, they're fighting against someone that they don't expect to put up the kind of fight that yeah. someone like John Rambo would put up now Much well, like well, another John John Wick John Wick yeah <laughs> yeah but John Wick had the whole boogeyman you know the uh, oh yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah the, you know no, no one really knows who a, diff- a, 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 yeah. a mythos kind of thing yeah John Rambo has a mythos and I'm sure at some point during the story they'll be like do you not know who John Rambo is Mm. You know they'll they'll look through one of those cartel members. They'll, they'll, look, they'll look through a they'll look through a document and everything will be redacted and they'll be like, oh, mm. this only means one thing. That's oh, black ops. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it is always that scene. Mm. Where, you know, I, I think there was a similar scene in Under Siege with Steven Seagal's character. It's like he's only the cook, and then they look at his you know his uh, his record and they're like, oh, it's all it's all redacted. Mm. I mean, I could be imagining that they uh, realised it was all redacted, but I do remember them. But like, it's only the chef. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it is. It is a bit of a trope, but mm. we we let them get away with it because you know it's nice to see Rambo on the screen, and I assume this would probably be the last time we get to see Sylvester Stallone in the uh, role of Rambo, mm. which is quite funny considering in the first Rambo, the the, the ending scene that you see at the end of the theatrical cut of Rambo is not the ending that was originally written and originally filmed. No, because he was meant to have died he was in the die. yeah. um, final kind of showdown bit. Mm. And I think it was meant to be a sort of a political message of sadness about the, the futility Vietnam, of war yeah. and Vietnam and stuff like that. But, yeah, I think it was either the screen test... Um, of it, yeah, or... it didn't test very well. Yeah, your yeah. Hero, your, well, he's not even the hero of the first one. No, he's n- he's not got it together, and it's a shame that the whole PTSD was more of a yeah, thing. Yeah, I would like some of the new one, de- at, the, at the start at least, to be him dealing with the troubles of his past kind of life. Mm. Uh, maybe even him struggling to settle down with being not a soldier. Yeah, to not be that person because well, it's been—it's so in his blood. I, I, I think in his blood, like, like, in, his, like that. in his blood. Yeah. Um, I know. Obviously, this would be a slightly a little bit ageist or whatever, but I, I maybe a bit cliched as you, well. You can buy but, Stallone being that character still. No, no. I, what, no what I was going to uh, dis- mention was that if there was, for example, a character who was also a veteran of Vietnam that we're introduced to as a character. And then you get to have that little bit of warmth and friendship or whatever before the action action really And he, the action he's really a catalyst. Kick. He's a catalyst because... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Either, either he, yeah, it's probably something like he's... I mean, once again, very cliche, but, you know, we love... Sometimes, sometimes you, you love get those away cliches, with cliches. Yeah, that he is off to buy some beers or something to drink at the porch or whatever. It won't be a uh, cause light, will it? <laughs> no. And he is um, kind of rough. On the porch. <laughs> <laughs> on the drinks on the foot. He's roughed up by some cartel members or something like that. And they push him or whatever. And that 
unfortunately, because of his age and everything, he sort of he dies. He ends up uh, slipping a, uh, slip a disc. <laughs> and he dies. Mm. And that is what kind of like gets Rambo's backup kind I of mean, thing. I mean, it's got to be some kind of catalyst. Normally mm. with Rambo films or action films with uh, an 80s kind of start... Um, in his 80s, no. Uh, well, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no action not. films in the 80s, the catalyst tended to be... Uh, of the female persuasion as in oh mm. girlfriend gets kidnapped daughter gets kidnapped wife gets kidnapped wife gets killed mm. my cousin tries twice removed gets killed mm. it wasn't until we got the dog trope with John Wick that you know action films kind of moved away from that a little bit yeah it's not like it's a trope now that you know no you, no no it's it's, it's like the, the whole the whole story of uh, John Wick losing his dog and then getting revenge is very much like someone was coming up with a joke storyline for a Death Wish 20, hmm. you know. Oh, they yeah. killed his dog. I I'm mean, sure it was a joke in a Simpsons episode at some point. Like, McBain, you know. Now, yeah, now he's angry, they've killed, you know, that hmm. kind of thing. Uh, so they, they ha- they, there has to be some kind of catalyst. I mean, the, the, t- the two things I definitely, um, my sort of, Final mm. sort of thoughts, I guess. All right. Is that no, no? This is not my like final, Mr. Conclu- Springer, conclusionary <laughs> thoughts. It's just things that I kind of wanted to bring up that mm. I thought were kind of interesting. Is that when you talked when we talked about uh, Terminator Dark Fate mm. coming out? There's a completely understandable reason why they should distance themselves from Genesis as the one that mm. obviously kept the predecessor to it. But I think that Rambo, uh, the 2008 one that we talked, was such a strong film mm. that it would be nice if there was just the slightest reference. It doesn't have to be indebted to it or anything mm. like that. But not for Sylvester Stallone. Hopefully, it hasn't sort of thought of it as being like oh that's I'm not like, so keen on that any film anymore it's, I don't, it's terrible I, I, I don't hear but, him bad mouthing it and he, no, he's quite no. quick to bad mouth films that he's done that, uh, yeah like Escape rubbish. Plan 2 yeah. and stuff like that Rocky 5 Rocky 5 yeah yeah, yeah. and um, the other additional point as well is that when it comes to the actual trailer that we've seen mm. because we have no idea of what this catalyst and everything is I mean, I'm guessing it's a cartel because they don't look like an army. No, no. They but look, you know, they, we could I, be wrong. Could, it, could be. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, it seems like the trailer is more focusing upon the fact that the hero's journey. Well, and the fact that Rambo's back. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't worry, audience. He's not. He's not tired. He's, he's not, not out of shape. What he's, did he's, you think of the nod to the western with him running around with his cowboy hat on the back of a horse? Oh, with the. Um, cover of the Bon Jovi I'm yeah. a cowboy <laughs> I mean I, I think that's quite a cool iconography for the character mm. although I, I'm sure he was on the back of a horse in the third Rambo film when he was um, running out into battle mm. with Al-Qaeda well I, I think it's uh... or, what, or, or what they were at the time mm. yeah because they, they weren't enemies then um... no it, it did kind of remind me a little bit of like a without the grey hair, like a Chris Christopherson sort of thing, or Jeff Bridges, that once a character gets grizzled and old, they take on a more kind of cowboy persona if they're an action star sort of thing. They, they Not to say that those two actors are action stars as such, but it mm. does become a uh, slight hint of a cowboy. Well, I suppose, I suppose I, it's kind of got that bit of an Unforgiven vibe with Clint Eastwood. I don't know if you've seen Unforgiven with yeah, Clint Eastwood. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a, rede- a bit of a redemption story of an old cowboy mm. saving saving the town. I think saving the town from the corrupt sheriff that was played by Gene Hackman. Could mm. be totally wrong. It's it's just well, so, such a tropey story that I'm sure it's been done so many times. I'm sure that that was the way Unforgiven went. So it is quite um, the redemption arc is quite popular in Western movies. Yeah, yeah, it, you know. it definitely feels there's a, like I was saying, like a hint of that, but mm. specifically the type of old Western character, like John Wayne's later career mm. kind of thing, like the true grit. The, oh, true, true grit. Yeah, yeah that that type of uh, character arc mm. sort of thing. So yeah. m- maybe maybe uh, Stallone's going to do us proud. I don't think he's going to make us angry or, well, not angry, but upset with uh, the latest Rambo film, I do think it's going to be at least, at the very least, watchable by the looks mm. of it. 
Well, I, I think he's quite fortunate as well, is that unlike with Arnold Schwarzenegger revisiting Terminator, is that Terminator has so many moving parts, so many different elements to it, whilst... Um, you know Rambo and you know Rocky previously. Mm. He's got a lot of it, control over his own yeah, franchise. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he, first of all, he has a Which lot is of sometimes good, sometimes not a good thing. Yeah, he has a lot of creative control, mm. and also that the story is a very basic, fundamental story mm. of the um, transformation of a character, what they go through. Sort yeah. Of thing. So you know, I what, what they've seen, what they've experienced. I for how it's one, changed them. I for one, am looking forward to Rambo: Last Blood. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments and don't yeah. forget to like and subscribe and click the bell uh, icon uh, mm-hmm. for notifications and send us an email if, if you want to at uh, videoplazapodcast at gmail.com we are also on Instagram and Twitter and the Facebook on the Facebook and, the and Facebook. all of it will be clickable links down at the bottom as well okay so, in, yeah. the dis- in the description. In the, yeah, in the description. In the description. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's our take on Rambo. And we will hopefully, when more trailers come out, uh, fuller length, more contextualised, we will do, do something like this again. We'll do this. You'll see our ugly mugs again. Yeah. Thank you for listening. Thank you. <laughs>